Well, here we are in a beautiful afternoon in downtown West Palm Beach, celebrating the reopening of the Whitney Condominium, pretty much the hottest condo building down here in downtown. This is say after Chinese drywall was completely done, and this is the only building I can certify, Chinese drywall free, in downtown West Palm Beach. And our lovely mayor, Miss Moyer, is going to cut the ribbon for us. Okay, so we're going to count down. We're going to count down from five, okay? Five, five four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay. Uh, honoring this great event is a signed Whitney poster uh, designed by an artist in town here, I guess. Um, uh, I hope you can find a, I hope you can find a spot in your office, but this celebrates, this is the rainbow over the Whitney and all the cultural events that surround this great building. And I'm proud to have been a resident here for now, I think eight years and still cooking. Wow. We give you this with uh, appreciation you. and uh, are very proud of it. How cool is this? Thank you. There is a... Uh, there are exhibitors setting up here, and then in the West uh, Lobby Gallery is an exhibit uh, that I curated for area students, which I think you'll enjoy. It's very exciting, and uh, we couldn't have a better afternoon for this, so welcome and enjoy, everybody. Mayor, how does, how does this improve the downtown of West Palm Beach? Well, you know, this is a great building in Whitney, and when it was first built, everybody was so excited about it. But then, of course, we heard about the Chinese drywall, and, and the folks here took that under control. They've changed out all the drywall. Now it's even more fabulous than it was. It's a great place to live. There's a great community here of people, and we're just happy to have it in our downtown. This is a center for cultural activity, isn't it? It is. We, they have uh, had frequent art shows here. Um, and openings. Uh, we have the artist Bruce Helander who lives here. This is his work. Uh, and, um, and it's very close to all of the other uh, art and entertainment venues. It gives everyone a greater sense of pride in the city, doesn't it? Absolutely. We, you know, um, we have learned that people love living in West Palm Beach. We are just named one of the happiest cities in Florida, which I totally agree with. And uh, we have a great spirit in downtown yeah. and across the city, in the north end, the south end, in the western communities. People really love living here. Yeah, it's a city on the move. It is, it is. We're getting a lot of recognition. We have curated a beautiful show, as you'll see, of area artists uh, that uh, makes this event even more exciting. And on the outside, on a beautiful day, is an outdoor exhibition by selected students from the Dreyfus School. Wow, what a great show, and I want to point out a couple of things by some very prominent artists on the wall. Over here is a photograph by Patrick McMillan, who is known as America's Greatest Society Photographer. Take a guess uh, about who that is, and if you don't recognize him, you probably are not from the planet Earth. That's Andy Warhol, and the great thing about uh, Patrick is that he went out every night and took photographs of prominent people, including Andy Warhol, who once said, if you don't know Patrick, you don't get out enough. The second photograph is by Kim Sargent, who uh, is uh, one of the leading photographers in South Florida, a great star of Architectural Digest, um, and uh, it's a beautiful portrait of flowers and a bee. And the other picture is by the local uh, photographer, Christopher Fay, who uh, is really one of the most popular society photographers in town, but also, as you can see, a great fine art photographer of facades. And I'm with one of the youngest collectors here at the event. Her name is Salma. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. And uh, she, you know, she, uh, she is looking around, and uh, the last I heard, she's trying to make a decision on which small picture you would like. Do you have a favorite? <laughs> yes, I have a favorite. Oh, yeah, she said. She said she had a favorite, and she's happy to be just moving into the Whitney, yeah. and we hope you have a great time. Hi, we're back again looking at this beautiful display of work at the Whitney, and I'm here with one of the artists that was selected for this uh, really amazing exhibit. Uh, your name? My name is Greg Pitts. 
Greg Pitts, and uh, he is a painter from West Palm Beach uh, that uh, has drawn a lot of atta attention here, a kind of a combination of abstract expressionism and color field all in the same glance. Shiny, new, inventive, what else can I say? That's the guy's personality. Uh, he is here with his son, Lamar. If you want to come over here for one second, man. For one second. And uh, I'll tell you, there is two best-dressed guys. Uh, what do you think of your dad as a painter? Oh, I'm very proud of my father's artwork. He's been doing art for like the past 10 years, and I see so much depth and improvement, and I'm really happy that the community is coming out to show some love to my father. Absolutely, and you know they say it's parental support yes. that makes a star, but in this case, it's, <laughs> it's the a, kid's support yeah. of the dad. I actually like make sure like he's always on Instagram, I make sure he's on Twitter, always doing you know promotional stuff, hashtags, so I'm like the brains behind his social media. There you so. go. Like so we now understand <laughs> what is the brains behind this great artistic triumph and we're going to see a lot more of this guy. I'll tell you that. It's a pleasure having you. Your work is great. And everybody considers this painting one of, one of the most exciting. So, so congrats. My hat's off to you, pal. Thank you very much. Yeah. And then I would like to, if anybody would be curious as the title of it, yeah. the title of it is called Chaotic Nightmares is what I titled it. Sometimes I have other people that have titled a piece, but this piece was so near and dear to my heart, I had to title it myself. Hi, we're back on the sidewalk out here on Avernia Street with a beautiful May day in downtown West Palm Beach. And we're here with some of the students from uh, Dreyfus School, which is just a couple of blocks away that produces some of the most talented uh, graduates uh, that go off to some of the most difficult and competitive art schools to get into. And based on what I see here, the evidence is clear that these students uh, are uh, very talented and we, uh, we wish them the best. As part of this celebration, the building is offering three prizes, a $300 prize, $200 and $100 gift certificates for Amazon, and you won the first prize, buddy, with this painting right here. This is Sam Stritznickel, S-T-U-R-Z-N-I-C-K-E-L. He won the first prize because it's a perfect photograph. It's well com composed. It really looks like a professional work. It's well painted. It's mysterious. It has a lot of narrative to it, but it's also abstract at the same time, and congratulations. So here is an example of the young talent on this street that you could also see in Chelsea or Soho if you wanted to. We're going on to the next picture, and um, this is Rebecca. And uh, Rebecca is obviously a talented photographer, and she won the second prize with this painting, right? This picture right here, which is, uh, tell me a little bit about the picture. Um, it is an, um, an emulation of Gregory Crutzen. Um, our photo assignment was we had to recreate five images by Gregory Crutzen, is the photographer that I chose. So this is a recreation of his image. Yeah, and Gregory had a show. Um, last year in the Beth the Woody collection and is considered really one of the American icons and it's great uh, to appropriate work and put it into your own uh, uh, kind of uh, vernacular. Uh, again, evidence of great talent on the street from the Dreyfus School and congratulations. We're yet uh, another student from the Dreyfus School, uh, Grace Plett. And uh, what, what year are you at uh, Dreyfus? Ninth grade. Ninth grade. I'll trade you. Uh, experience for the ninth grade, please. No. At any rate, it's a beautiful day, and uh, these are, are very interesting works. They remind me a little tiny bit of, uh, of Diane Arbus. Um, her daughter uh, actually used to uh, work for me uh, when I published a magazine. And these are very special pictures. And uh, this is the, 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 uh, the third winner in our contest here uh, and uh, it's because it's an intriguing photograph very interesting uh, and it's hard to make a photograph interesting and dramatic uh, and you've done that and congratulations we're at the Whitney condominium building celebrating all kinds of things a great renewal uh, and a great anniversary and part of this event was a street fair uh, of uh, participating uh, artists from the Dreyfus School and we picked three winners they're going to be uh, given prizes by the uh, executives of Hotwire, who have hotwired this building and a lot of other hot places around town. I'm going to leave it here. Here's the mic. Ask their name. Present the awards. 
Uh, on behalf of Hotwire, we'd like to congratulate you on uh, winning the art contest here at the Whitney. Um, what's your name? Uh, Becca Seitner. Uh, Becca, and what grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. Ninth grade. And what pr uh, mm -hmm. prize was? I was second place. Second place. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That's a um, gift card for Amazon. Thank you. And who is in third place? Third place. And your name? Grace Plutt. Grace. And what grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. Okay. On behalf of Hotwire, we'd like to congratulate you. And here's a gift card Thank for you. Amazon for $100. And last but not least, and your name? Sam Sturznickel. Sam, uh, what grade are you in? Ninth grade. Ninth grade also. I'd like to congratulate you on winning top prize for the art contest here at the Winnie. Congratulations. All righty then. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Our dream is 10 years from now, this event will repeat it again at the Whitney Biennial in New York City with three great students. And we wish you all the best. Thanks for coming, everybody. Yeah, thank you.